as a horrible act. I just think it's small potatoes compared to the things Dracula could do to intimidate the Belmonts. I mean, for fuck's sake, he's Dracula after all. Christopher amasses a group of warriors to assist him in his revenge plot. His wife decides to join him in the great siege of Count Dracula's castle merely a day after the wedding. That's your choice for a honeymoon? Well, each to their own, f*** it, I'd have chosen Australia. They are also joined by his butler and family friends the Totoyans, who are implied to be a family of blacksmiths that provide the Belmont family with the weapons and means to battle Dracula. This family consists of Gaspar Totoyan and his grandchildren Victor and Pasha. Christopher Belmont's butler Deimos is like a badass Alfred, willing to join the fray and dish out arse kickings with a crossbow after making tea and sandwiches. I do find the inclusion of an ersatz Scooby gang incredibly odd. Alright, I understand why they did it, because it would have been less thrilling showing an inexperienced Belmont storming the castle. But really, this just feels more like a Belmont family picnic than a castle siege. Personally, I think all these extra characters are unnecessary, and would have preferred it if Christopher and Deimos stormed the castle in a buddy cop kind of way instead. Dracula is shown to be young and sordid as opposed to his usual aristocratic appearance. He is never clothed and often switches between his humanoid form and bat form. Personally, I'm not fond of this depiction of Dracula as he looks more like a beefed up smurf than a vampire and behaves like a dick rather than a calculating and menacing villain. I mean, what happened to the badass in a snazzy outfit constantly hamming up his lines? I'm also not pleased that the Totoyans are more motivated to battle Dracula than Christopher is. Up until he departs for the castle, he's doing nothing more than shaking off the looming threat of Dracula as fairy tales and trying to avoid his destiny. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a reluctant hero, but considering that the Belmonts are a noble and heroic family, these attributes should come naturally to him. The art is fantastic. It has the typical style of anything that Western publishers produce month after month, but with a very subtle hint of anime thrown in there, thankfully not